Before I get started then guys, there's a couple of things I just wanted to go over. And the first thing is, obviously the title of this video, this is a completely universal supplement stack. So it doesn't matter your gender, your age, whether you're vegan or not, anybody can take these supplements and they can help you reach your health and fitness goals. Secondly then, if you do enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That way, every time I upload, you're gonna be notified and you can stay up to date with my uploads. Lastly then, be sure to stay connected with me on YouTube and my other social media, so Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, just at Calamelli. And if you do have any questions at all with regards to any of the supplements I go over, or just in general, be sure to leave me a comment and I will be sure to answer it for you ASAP Rocky. All right then, homies, without further ado, let's get on with the video. <laughs> Before we actually delve into here and see what is in it, I'm gonna go through the other products that I didn't need to order because I already had some left over. And these are the three components that make up my pre-workout. <laughs> So let's start with the first component of my pre-workout and that is citrulline malate. Citrulline malate is a amino acid and it can help to reduce fatigue as well as regulate glucose uptake. And that's important when you hear what other supplements I'm putting in my pre-workout because they all complement each other. So as previously mentioned, citrulline malate is gonna to help to reduce fatigue and it does this by simply improving muscle function. How? Well, when you take citrulline malate, you're going to then increase L-arginine levels, which is another amino acid. And arginine is responsible for improved blood flow. It's gonna help with nutrient delivery to the muscles and cells, as well as clearance of waste products. So that way we are able to perform harder for longer, get a few more reps out, and yeah, get the most out of every single workout. So the next supplement I'm gonna go on to is highly branched cyclic dextrin. And this is a carbohydrate source that I will take pre, intra and post workout. And as we mentioned with citrulline malate, this can help to regulate glucose uptake as well as nutrient delivery. So by putting a carbohydrate into the system that's easily digested and can get to the muscles very quickly to yeah, fuel your workout, we are setting ourselves up for yeah, the ultimate fuel source to train harder for longer. I'm then going to add in Creatine Creo Pure Monohydrate. Now, creatine is probably one of the most documented supplements on the market. Yeah, it's been proven on countless occasions to improve performance. Now, how this works is it will help to regenerate ATP. Now, ATP is basically how our body stores and uses energy. So, if we're able to supplement with creatine monohydrate and thus increase ATP regeneration, we're again, with the, with the combination of citrulline malate and our cyclic dextrin, we're gonna set ourselves up to be able to perform harder for longer, reduce fatigue, improve muscle efficiency, and basically get the most out of that workout. So that is basically the reason I will take all three of these supplements. Dosage wise, I'll take five grams of creatine, creo pure monohydrate, pre and post workout, five grams of citrulline malate pre workout, and 25 grams of cyclic dextrin pre-workout. Time to see what is in my box of gains. And let's start with um, protein. Now, since I went like plant-based vegan just over 12 weeks ago now, the most common question I am getting asked on social media is, where do you get your protein from? And I've done a couple of blog posts on this. So if you wanna go check out my blog, guys, it's just callummelly.com. So I'm using my protein's vegan blend, chocolate smooth flavor, tastes great, mixes really well. There's 21 grams of protein per serving. This is great pre and post workout. It has all nine essential amino acids in it, so it does make up a complete protein. And it's made up of brown rice protein, hemp protein, and pea protein isolate. So you're getting a good blend in there of yeah macronutrients as well. The other protein I take, guys, and this will be usually either for breakfast or post workout, is the vegan superfood blend. And I've got banana flavor, as you can see there. And it tastes great, again, mixes really well. You get 15 grams of protein per serving, so I will tend to do one and a half servings post-workout. If I'm having it for breakfast, just one serving is fine. Ah, oh, man, I can't feel my feet, I've got pins and needles. Right, let's try and uh, carry on. So, yeah, the reason I would take this for breakfast or post-workout is because not only is this loaded with protein, but it is loaded with all the micronutrients, vitamins, and minerals you're gonna need 
first thing in the morning and especially post-workout. Now remember, we don't just break down our muscles when we are training, we do damage to our cells and yeah, we, we wanna put as much quality fuel into the body post-workout especially to help that recovery and repair process. So what I tend to do is when I get home, again, I'll have one and a half servings of this post-workout, I'll throw a banana in there for some um, glucose and fructose, my carbohydrate source, probably some oats as well as a starchy carbohydrate and some spinach and some, or, or whatever greens you prefer, but spinach doesn't tend to knock the taste of your uh, smoothie. And that way, yeah, I'm basically putting everything I need into my body to help again with that recovery and repair process. The next supplement that I'm sure you've all heard of is branched chain amino acids. So I take the fermented BCAA powder, again, vegan friendly, and this is made up of valine, isoleucine, and leucine the three essential amino acids that are associated with lean muscle growth and protein synthesis. So I would tend to take five to 10 grams of this. You can sip this throughout the day to again, promote protein synthesis, but it's great to have anytime you're doing fasted cardio or if you're doing um, yeah, a really intense workout and you haven't had a protein source before. So if I haven't, I will add this and stack it with my pre-workout supplements. If not, you can just sip this throughout your workout and again, it will help with protein synthesis. On that note though, guys, do remember that we don't grow in the gym, we grow outside of the gym. So although we're promoting protein synthesis, I would look at it more of reducing protein degradation. So we're reducing the likelihood of breaking down muscle during an intense workout to be used as energy. Our oh, vitamin B complex. This is another interesting one and a question I've been getting asked quite frequently as well, where do you get your vitamin B from? Because people seem to think that you can only get vitamin B by consuming animal produce, so animal flesh. And hate to break it to you guys, but that is completely wrong. Now, if you are following a vegan or plant-based diet, the reason you might want to supplement or, or should really supplement with vitamin B complex is purely for the fact that animals, plants, fungi cannot produce vitamin B on their own, okay? It is actually formed from a bacteria and that bacteria thrives in areas such as soil and dirt. So the reason back in the day we didn't use, need to use to supplement this is because we would be consuming plant-based material that would still have bits of soil and dirt on. So we were getting plenty of that bacteria in that produced vitamin B. Whereas now, as we know, everything we buy has been washed and yeah, thoroughly cleaned. It is important to make sure you're getting your vitamin B in. So vitamin B complex is a great product and I would definitely recommend having one of these a day um, yeah, with food. Okay, we are almost there. This is one of my favorite supplements, ZMA, zinc and magnesium. I'll take three of these before bed and honestly, sleep like a baby. I'm out for the count. And that is so, so important because remember what I said earlier, we don't grow in the gym, guys. We create the demand in the gym and then we have to supply that demand with the right rest and recovery. So sleep is vital. We also secrete human growth hormone at peak levels during deep sleep. So by taking ZMA, you can help to promote deep sleep. And ultimately, if you put in the right nutrition in there, especially before you go to bed, then yeah, you're gonna help to promote lean muscle growth. So again, ZMA, awesome supplement, especially if you struggle with sleep. Moving on then, is pretty much the healthy snacks I like to have. One of them in particular, as I mentioned at the start, these are my favorite, they taste amazing is the baked cookies. If I'm yeah craving something sweet, I'll have one of these rather than go and have something that is yeah, not as macro friendly. The next snack guys I've got is the organic raw bar. And this is made up of raisins, cashew and cacao powder. So it's basically packed with healthy fats, antioxidants and yeah, it's a great energy source basically. So if I'm gonna have one of these, again, if I've got a sweet craving and I don't want a cookie, these are slightly lower calorie coming in at 140 calories per bar. And I'll have this pre or post workout as well. The last one, again, is the vegan protein bar. I think these come in at about 240 calories, oh, 226 calories per bar, 12 grams of protein, 16 grams of carbohydrate, and 12 grams of fat. So it's a pretty balanced macro bar, chocolate orange flavor, tastes unreal, again, if you need a quick hit of protein on the go, some carbohydrates, some energy, these are, yeah, awesome for that. And again, for curbing cravings, I would much rather have one of these than go and grab, you know, a uh, uh, chocolate bar or some other sweet sauce that's just not as macro friendly. And that's it then, guys. That is my vegan friendly supplement stack. 
I do hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, be sure to subscribe. I've got loads more videos coming very, very soon. And if you do have any questions whatsoever, simply leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now, I'm also going to link my my protein discount code so you can save 20% off absolutely everything. So the clothing, the supplements, anything store-wide. And I will also link each product below as well so you can go direct to the page and check them out. Until next time, guys, keep it real. Peace.